P. Kenny. What is up, Kenny? How, how are you guys? What's up, Kenny? What are you doing this weekend, pal? Any fucking dart tournaments? Squirtle. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I got a little, a little, little something, something. A little of this orange shit. A little of this orange stuff. It's pretty good. It tastes good. I like it. I get to sip it while I'm doing my program. Ah. Uh, so. It's just me and you, Kenny. Oh, Schwen, welcome to the program. <laughs> Wildfire, Mark the Golden Jet, Smoking Gun. Wildfire, I liked your post. And I, I like the, the little... <laughs> so I said, do it at five. The earlier, the better. Hey, Mark, how are you? I'm doing very good. I appreciate you asking as always. You're a fucking scholar and a gentleman. You're a good young man. Yes. Crystal definitely got my attention. I, I It took me a while to read exactly what was going on because I kept watching it in loop. Joe just off the board to watch. As, oh, you were fucking shooting darts. I am very humbled, by the way, since I know you are a dart fucking fanatic. I aim to please, and you are fucking succeeding in that aiming. I aim to. You sound like one of them old westerns. Hey, Stony, what's up, pal? Stony three zero nine seven. So it is AMA time. So AMA away, family members. Is that Richie Burt? Hey, Richie to the Burt, to the six, to the seven. What's up, Rich? So what is going on, everyone? How is everyone on this fine Thursday afternoon? It is Thursday afternoon. I can't wait for the weekend. I don't know why, even though this, this week was a short week with the holiday, I just don't have a lot of, uh, a lot of energy. How is my ball sack, Kenny? Actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It needs to be drained. So, any takers? <laughs> Who is joining you from the MSM Whack Pack today, Big Joe? Aaron True. Hey, buddy, if you want to be the fucking the victim, uh, go right ahead. Anyone and everyone is welcome on this program, even, even enemies of the show. Big Rob just posted and threw down the gauntlet for a peck time. I know he sent me the video. I said that you guys should challenge each other to a topless um, peck bounce contest. And he said that his wife and children do not allow him to go topless. So I guess he must shower with a shirt on. I, I, you know what, Big Rob did have a good peck bounce on that last video, I, I'm not gonna lie, but I have a feeling Crystal might have the advantage. <laughs> you know, if it was like a guy versus a guy, eh, alright, whatever, who cares. Now, what we need to do is get chicks in that peck bouncing contest, not fucking humanity. Metstone, what's up? Please tell me you saw McCloyd's live. No, I know he said he was going live a couple of hours ago, but I was editing video. I never got a chance to do it. It's on now. Shuey! And there's Colonel Kurtz. Are you Colonel Kurtz? Marlon Brando from Apocalypse Now. <laughs> 1985, the year I graduated high school. I'm so young. I graduated high school in the mid-80s. Colonel Kurtz, who saw Apocalypse Now? Fucking awesome movie. Great interview with Lee Priest. Not because of me, Shuey. You were the fucking star of that fucking show. I kicked the mic to you, and you were, you were hysterical. With you and Lee were breaking each other's balls with a lot of, uh, a lot of funny gags. Kyle Farley, what's up, bro? Welcome back to the program. Kyle Farley is becoming a semi-regular, hopefully a regular regular. I like regular regulars. Because that means you, 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 oh, I, I always know when you come in and 
I'm always so happy to see you. Like Shuey, like uh, Mark the Golden Jet, like P. Kenny. Guys like that. We got so many of them on this program. Shuey the Shoe, 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 Shoe Smith. He's got so many fucking feet, we got to say Shuey the Shoe, 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 Shoe Smith. Always, F1 fighter, another regular, regular, semi-regular. I have to now say he's in a regular, regular fucking, f in that category, in that draw. Lenny Person's Last Direction. So many names in this account, it's hard to keep track of what it started as. Like the other day, the fucking ironic one, the Spider-Man fucking showed up, and there's some completely assumed name. Now, was that you, Kyle? Greg Valentino is the Bill Burr of bodybuilding. Bill Burr and Greg's politics are opposite of one another, though, so that way they're not the same. Purple Girl. Is that Purple Girl? Hey, Shuey, Ted was fucking some broad bear when you have to... <laughs> Shuey's got the talking Ted... The Ted action figure, because guys don't play with dolls. The action figure. It's a big, fluffy, stuffy action figure. But that's the story. So we are here on this uh, Antibolic Presents Ask Me Anything MSM style. You have the best Insta lives. I look forward to seeing your lives when you have triple-digit views. Kyle, uh, uh, from your mouth to God's ears. Like God's really listening to this fucking dopey show. It's like Greg's new video. I want to thank my Lord Jesus for helping me win this MMA fight. Fucking Greg was dead on because I was like nodding my head as I was editing that, fucking listening to it, watching it, going, that was fucking, I, I fucking feel the same way. Hope you get Tony on. Now, Tony is um, Big Rob Fitness. You <laughs> want? Oh, Anthony, Anthony Tedesco. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I always tag him, obviously, on this, uh, these posts. I'm just hoping my fucking thing works. Because now I just updated you Apple guys out there. I updated um, to um, a new operating system on my laptop. And as soon as I plugged the phone in and do the show, it wanted me to do a phone update. And I said, well, I can't do it now because I'm fucking doing a live program here. And um, so I'm hoping that maybe there is a patch to fix that um, Instagram where when I'm recording the screen, the voice is like non-existent on the guest. It's just, it's, it makes no fucking sense. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. R3 Motorsports, welcome to the program, my friend. Keep them coming. Get your friends R1 and R2 Motorsports to join in with you. <laughs> Oh, fuck. So, Sleepy Dog is a regular Sleepy Dog. So, what is anybody's plans for this weekend? Does anyone have a um, something exciting for the weekend? Myself, I do not. Do not have anything exciting. I will probably just be sitting on the couch watching college football on Saturday and editing video. And then Sunday, I'll be at the supermarket because I don't watch communist football anymore. The real... The real Chris Bra. Fucking Chris Bra, man. Chris Bra comes up with some of the funniest... Some of the funniest fucking uh, Kamasikyamas fucking videos. Humanity game face on... No, you know what it is? I got one of these stupid things on my, uh, on my fucking laptop. One of those messages. Going to play poker myself. Oh, good luck. I hope you win. I hope you win. Do you play Jack Sabetta? <laughs> NFL is a joke now. Yes, sir. It is a bad joke. It's not even a funny joke. The only thing good about it are the cheerleaders because they still have vaginas and breasts. Even though their bosses are communists, they are still... Like, you know, even during, like, the worst... Uh, form of the USSR, there were still many bangable Russian broads. So I kind of look at them the same way. I will, bro, because I'm Jewish. What are you saving up to be, Lieutenant? Jewish! Remember that from Platoon? And there's Laura Dillon with no photo. How does a girl not put a photo on there? I could see a guy. I mean, you know, we're fucking guys are kind of stinky looking and shit. But chicks, you're all fucking, every chick in the world is hot. So you know, just 
Put yourself up there. Don't be shy. Give it a try. Derek Lewis and the Real Chris Bra Instagram pages are lit. Now, who's Derek Lewis, P. Kenny? Um, there's many names lately that I have just been totally fucking missing. And I, I, I got to get with the program, I guess. I guess I got to get with the program. War Machine 367, what is up? Who are your favorite people to follow on social media within the fitness industry? With the exception of you and Misfits, there is nothing. Well, obviously, I like the funny pages like that. I like Nick Strength and Power. I do follow Louis Marco, although he hasn't been around much. The Beast from the UFC. I got to get more in tune with the UFC. I love it, but I don't go crazy reading up on it a lot. Derek Lewis is a UFC heavyweight. I got to get more, more like, if, if I sit and watch, like, UFC Reloaded, or when they had the, uh, you know, the house, I enjoy the, uh, you know, the next, the ultimate fighter. Gav Garten! What's up, Gav Garten? So, who else do I follow in the fitness industry? Well, um, I used to follow Piana. Uh, I mean, everybody probably did, I'm sure. Jerry Ward. I'm a friend of Jerry Ward's. I like Jerry Ward. Um, Johnny Bravo. Big Rob Fitness, can't forget him. Um, not counting the misfits, because you already mentioned that. I'm going to put Jason with the uh, with them. He's fighting for the belt in three weeks. See, that's the only thing about, with like, even in boxing, you know, there's all these different weights, so there's all these different belts. It's hard to keep track, like, who's the champ or the contenders and what and all of that. That's the, even boxing when I was a kid. If it wasn't heavyweight boxing... It, nobody gave a fuck. Like those little lighter weight guys. Only like Sugar Ray Leonard. The welterweights. They, those had some big names in it. But other than that, it was the fucking Muhammad Ali and Foreman and the heavyweights. Uh, Wednesday 10 on FS1. Oh, I have FS1. Ultimate Fighter. And now, are they still doing that? Or are those just like the repeats? One of the hottest ones were when the two broads were the coaches... And uh, uh, what's a uh, Micha? What the fuck's the name? And Rousey. And they went drinking in Vegas somewhere, and they were getting jealous because they were like hitting on each other's guys. I was getting turned on watching that. Derek Rule was just look at his post interview with Joe. Was that the guy who said uh, Brett Kavanaugh? If that's the Kavanaugh guy, I fucking love him. Special K, he called him. Take a punch from a heavyweight from UFC. You're done. Not me, pal. I'm tough. I fuck them up before they'll fuck me up. Imagine them hitting me in the nose. I mean, like, I, I guess it would break, but it would, like, be bones all over the street. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Wanted to say thank you for the support of my Instagram. Dude, are you kidding me? You support these fucking sick, stupid, perverted crap shows. How do I not support your fucking page? Thank you, my friend. There was no such thing as thanking me. I am thanking you, Mr. Akavano. Shop Mimo Sub... Site. So you know what it is? When it comes on, then it says, if your name is long, it's like, then it's like dot, dot, dot. It doesn't tell me the whole name. So I don't know what... When I don't read your full name when you first join the show, that's, uh, it's, that's the reason. Well, your nose could break a few hands. Yeah, it's like hitting a black guy in the fucking head. <laughs> it don't work. She gets hotter every year. Who? The, the tranny that Lenny fucked in Vegas with the, the apple juice piss? <laughs> uh, now, did he drink that piss afterwards? I know they showed it on the video. But did he... Because he looked like sober and everything. It was like the morning after. Like, even after the, whatever crazy, you know, perversions in your mind the night before, the next day, it's like... All right, now what the fuck did I do? I was just with a tranny, and that's a full glass of warm piss from the tranny. Ask Lee Priest about Big Lenny. Um, did they get to meet at the expo? I believe they did, right? Isn't there a video or something? Oh, Misha Tate. Yeah, oh, there's something, right, Chris? With that little thing. Of, like, she almost has like that Cindy Crawford thing on her. Like, when she's in the ring and stuff, like, you wouldn't think she could pull it off. But when she's, like, done up, like, holy fuck. Wasn't she in that ESPN body issue? They had some fucking hot fucking broads. And they had fucking, uh, 
Jose Reyes that look like fucking National Geographic magazine. <laughs> Holly Holm. Yes, another one. When she's in the ring, you're like, uh. But when she's fucking dressed up, even a lot of the WNBA broads. I mean, you, 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 you'd you think that they were fucking gross. But let me tell you, you see them in person, some of them, when they're not, you know, hair in a bun. Man, I tell you, that Swin Cash, the black fucking broad, she's fucking, and she's straight. She's stunning. She's badass also. Now, if I was dating like a Misha Tate or a Holly Holm, you know I would fucking want them to beat the piss out of me. For sexual purposes, because why? How you'd be like? Imagine how much money guys would pay to do that. Those perverted guys. Even though I'm not perverted personally, I would still do it, just for the fucking principle. He did a hilarious interview with RX Muscle. Who? Lenny or oh Lee Lee Priest? Oh, was that when Dave was showing him the the porno? You would a UFC to fuck you after a nice... Oh, my God, yes! Kenny, you know me very well. I'd fucking bury my face in every fucking... Every fucking cavern. Nikki, Nikki D! What's up, Nikki D, 23? Fucking Don Mattingly. Nikki, Nikki's a, a straight shooter. Nikki, would you bang a sweaty UFC woman after she won fucking five rounds, five minutes, three live shows in three days? What did I do to deserve this? You were born under the Italian flag. <laughs> well, that's only because the um, the Monday, the the Stevie Shoesmith Columbus holiday. Alec D, what's up? See, I'm not getting a lot of viewers. I think three days in a row people get fucking sick of this shit because I won't blame them. <laughs> BN Labs Helper. I'll help them get me an ad. <laughs> I join and here you are talking about burying your nose in the ass again. Alec, you know this show well. It's very rare when you come on that we're not talking about that. Paige Van Zant. I don't know her. Is she related to the singer in, um... <laughs> fucking, uh, uh, Freebird there. <laughs> Even in karate, hottie Michelle Watterson. I don't know karate chicks. I never fucked a karate chick. Not that I know of. She didn't chop me while I was fucking not eating her pussy correctly or anything. <laughs> Leonard Skinner. <laughs> She's, sees a dime. She's only worth 10 cents, so she's like a tan, 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 but not not 10 like Bo Derek, like 10 cents. Matthias one Nielsen. Hey, there's another Swedish guy for you. Shevenko. Is she hot? Arthritis. Artie. Artie, I was just talking about the WNBA. You missed it, see? I'll probably mention that once a year. <laughs> Oh, shit. So it's fucking Thursday. The weekend is a coming. Crystal is doing her show tonight. She was putting a post up for a poll, and it said, do you want her to do it at 5 or 6 p.m.? I personally said 5 because I want to get to see her sooner since, since we miss her. We missed her the other day. Did you see Trump and Kanye? I did not see the post interview. I saw... Like uh, the preview stuff on uh, on the, the the websites there on the news channels, I saw them that they were talking about doing a meeting. Now, to me, I think that's fucking great. Kanye West, I never was a big fan of his till he liked Trump. At first, I thought he was a prick for fucking with Taylor Swift. Now she's a liberal twat, and I'm glad Kanye fucking did it. Now, I wish he would have fucking thumbed her asshole at the top of that fucking AMA stage there, right on the fucking podium. So fucking Kanye went to the, um, he's a legend. Oh, you're a Chicago dude too, that's right. He, I know that he wanted to talk to the president about bringing manufacturing jobs um, back you know, into Chicago, which is a great idea. What did uh, Kyle say? Do you remember Jason Genova's old trainer, Koth Debbie? She does porn. Now, you're not talking about the broad that was the trainer in that gym they used to work out at, right? That was Karen, I think. I don't remember Koth Debbie. I remember Koth, uh, something with a K, right? 
I wish she did porn, that one. What the fuck would they talk about? I'm telling you, though, fucking Kanye West, he's a little esoteric. Let's just be honest. He's a little wacky. But he wants to bridge the communities, the black community and Trump, and he thinks because he's a, you know, a, a big name, which he's, you know, a lot of people are hating him for that. Um, but he feels that it's worth it because he thinks that Trump could help the black community. Trump could only fucking help the American community. Let's just be fucking on, uh, 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 um, honest. It doesn't matter if they're black or white. Debbie D'Andrea. I don't know her, Chris. Should I look her up and, and not masturbate till I get there? Kanye West is an artistic... Uh, Kanye West, West, artistic genius. So it comes up with. I'm not... I, I couldn't tell you one song he does, Artie. I'm, I'm not into that style of music. But I respect for him for really throwing in the dice on his career. D-Ball Debbie, that sounds sexy. He's a bit of a nut job, but he's got good intentions. See, that's how I read it. I read it that he really believes in Donald Trump. Kanye obviously is a big businessman because he's a fucking millionaire. And he gets to put his nose up Kim Kardashian's asshole anytime he wants. How do you not respect a man like that? Mackenzie Dermott, Joe. I'm going to tag you in all these broads. Yes, please, Kenny. Definitely tag me. So I should not use my load till I get to D ball on her. You gotta I gotta tag me one of her posts. I guarantee if I gave you a few song lists too, if you have a newfound respect for him, Joe, he's not a rapper who's all, I see I just don't like that style of music, Audie. It's nothing to do with racism. Um I don't like Eminem. I only like the Beastie Boys first album, which really wasn't their first album. They were a punk rock band before that. They had an album out earlier when they had a girl drummer. They actually were a band. They weren't just singing. Um, but the first, The License to Ill is the first real album because it was like a joke. But after that, the Beastie Boys tried to be like serious rappers and they were fucking horrible. So I just don't like that music. But I like the things that Kanye says. Like Crazy Didn't Do Nothing. He's a big Kanye West fan, I'm sure. Right, Crazy? <laughs> Audie, what are your thoughts on Twisted Sister and their impact? Now we're talking my style here. Local uh, local band, obviously. See, I couldn't tell you, if you put a song on, unless it was like one of those Run DMC songs, I wouldn't know any of these guys. I've got to be honest, I'm, you've never heard of Twisted Sister. I want to rock, we're not going to take it. Come on, it was in the, uh, the the Spongebob movie. I do like some of Kanye's when working out. I'm a big Sebastian Bach fan. Oh, I'm very proud to hear that. I like Skid Row, Sebastian Bach, and he's done some good stuff solo, but I, I liked him better with Skid Row. You know that me and Greg interviewed him, Audie, for an audio podcast? And me and Greg were pissed because it was like, Greg's like, what are you, in the fucking bowling alley? <laughs> it was in a place, it was so fucking loud, you couldn't even fucking, it was like almost a waste of an interview. And I'm like, I finally get to talk to Sebastian Bach, and the fucking dumb fuck is, is uh, you know, in a place where it's so, so fucking loud. Jeremy Potvan. Is he related to uh, Dennis Potvan, the Islanders defenseman from years ago? Sister Sledge. Now, that's like an old classic disco band. I know some of their material from when my disco days with my Capizio shoes on and my waiter jacket, um, suit jacket. <laughs> oh, but I, you know... Just because I don't like hip-hop doesn't mean that, uh, you know, it's not good music. It's just not my style. I mean, I don't like classical music, but I know it's great. You know, it's like musical-wise, it's like amazing, but it just puts me to sleep. Thoughts on Sammy Hagar joining Van Halen? I never was a big Hagar Halen fan. I thought they did do a couple of songs pretty good with him. Um, right now, I like that one. Uh, Dreams, I thought that was a great song. I thought I think they did better than most people thought they were gonna, but um, I don't think it was a great fit. I mean, for what it's worth, they did okay with him. Um, obviously, I love Van Halen with David Lee Roth. I've only seen them with David Lee Roth. I never saw them with Hagar. I saw Roth solo, too, in 84. 
um, 85, I guess it was. Um, David Lee, but the, the, they also had the singer from Extreme for a little while in Van Halen. Uh, and they also had this other blonde guy, I forget his name, he did the tryout and then they, uh, it, it didn't work out or whatever. Hey, the kid Haynes, what's up, Haynes? Sammy has a good vote. Yeah, Sammy Hagar does, I, I, like, I can't drive 55, I like some chicken foot songs, um, you know, I, he, I, he's good, but... He wasn't really their style, though. You know what I mean? I thought it was an odd pairing. That's why I thought uh, this is a nice show. I know, we're talking about fucking uh, Ilias. No, he's not R.I.P. Van Halen hasn't done anything. You know what? A couple of the things they did recently, and I'm talking about the last five years or ten years recently, with, uh, with David Lee Roth, like they did um, a couple of new singles with him. I like that. I sing for Van Halen once a... You sang for Van Halen? Crazy didn't do nothing? <laughs> Gary Sharon from Extreme was in Van Halen for a little while. Who actually has a... He probably was the best true singer in that band ever. Because David Lee Roth's a... He's not really a singer. He's an entertainer. He's a crooner. He's a, he's a rock and roll crooner. He's a talker. Hagar has got more of that kind of like country rock kind of voice. Um, but Gary Sharon from Extreme can fucking sing, man. I sing for crack in L.A. <laughs> I saw Van Halen when they first got back with David Lee Roth. Um, it was probably like 2007 or something. Joe, what the fuck's up with the 80s rockers dressing in drag? I thought a good Italian boy like you in Brooklyn would put off. Let me tell you something. When I used to play in my metal bands in those days, Nick... I used to wear spandex pants. <laughs> I, I have to post the picture. I had, I, uh, yes, I wore spandex. But I did have my capizios on, though. If you look at some pictures, Ozzy Osbourne wore capizios in the 80s, too, on stage. I heard Lenny got out of the hospital the other day. when we were, Was it yesterday or the day before when we were doing one of the other shows? Somebody said he went in and got checked out and came out. Bradley Melman. Nick, could you picture me wearing spandex with a fucking big hair and shit. <laughs> AZ hairbands. Yeah, it was very, very fucking... The 80s itself was a very gay era. The new wave, um, the the metal guys, the hair, you know, the pretty hair metal, glitter bands. Um, you know, even TV shows like the feathered hair, like the Don Johnson. It was very fucking feminine. And when you look back at it now, and you're like, oh, I look like a fag back then. <laughs> Why didn't I fucking, you know, just gay bash myself? Lenny is racist as hell. For some reason, it makes me laugh. It's the craziest thing. Hey, there's black comedians that hate fucking white guys. Dave Chappelle is one of them. He's funny as fuck, man. Chris Rock. You think he loves whitey? No. But he's funny. <laughs> Uh, some of that hair metal was awesome. Yeah, it was great. Even though they look like fags. Joe, I got to see some of those pictures you got me. Nick, let me tell you something, man. When I was a high school kid and into the early uh, college, I was fucking hair band, hair metal. I wore the... Well, you saw the picture in the I Am Maiden issue. I had, it was more of like a Barbarino haircut at the time. Um, D.D. D. Davies. I thought it said D. Schneider for me. I was going to say, Wow. Dave, oh, yeah, you ever hear some of his more recent comedy, Dave Chappelle? And I don't care. He could hate fucking white guys. I don't give a shit. Um, but Chris Rock said some really fucked up things lately. I, I, you know, and you're going to call me out because I can't give you an example, but I heard it. I just didn't retain it, but it was recently. But I still think he's funny as fuck. I'd go see him live anytime. I dress like that and grow my hair out for millions. I did it for nothing. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Carter. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Melman, you're a funny fuck, bro. Yes, I, 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 I guess I did look like a Barbarino back then. <laughs> Liverwurst. 80s rockers are getting more pussy. I know, man. And you hear like uh, Motley Crue, where, like they have like some of the most infamous uh, stories of... Um, Gang banging fat girls and shoving bottles up their twats and stuff backstage and just all sorts of crazy shit, you know. So those guys are uh, those guys are fucking 
uh, were funny. Poison, they have some some infamous, uh, you know, stories about banging fucking broads and all of that shit. <clears throat> hey, Vape Lady, speaking of sexy chicks, Vape Lady Toronto. Hey, when you get cold up there in Toronto, give me a call. I shall keep you warm. I shall make you warm. Humble little savage. How's that fucking nice ass of yours there, humble? Humble little savage. So that's the story. We're talking about 80s fucking heavy metal bands looking gay but getting a hell of a lot of vagina. Um, me looking like I was trying to get a lot of vagina. <laughs> I think I'd keep you warm, Joe. Ooh, I might like that. Tired ass. Ooh, let me fucking sing it a lullaby with my fucking nose. <laughs> you want to keep me warm, vape? It does get cold in New York. Wise guy, NYC. I think that's Nick's fake account. Who do you think got more pussy back in the day? Tommy Lee or Roy Orbison? Wow, Roy Orbison. Nick, I'm shocked you even know Roy Orbison. Pretty, the original pretty woman before Van Halen, of course. Uh, definitely Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee had a fucking, like, a 12-inch cock. I mean, I don't know what Roy Orbison was packing, but serious question. Those of you with private Instagram accounts, why private? Good question. I, I would never bother with an account if it was private. Am I a Kiss fan? Am I a, do I curse? <laughs> Fuck yeah. I have liked Kiss. Probably the first album I liked was Dress to Kill. So we're talking about like 1974, 75. Um, so I was like eight years of age, around seven, eight. I love Kiss to this day. Fucking awesome. I private my account most time, get too many spammers. Well, a girl I could see if it's, if it's a, because if you're going to put like pictures and shit like that. I'm a young, good-looking man, and I don't want people stealing my pictures, creating profiles with them, and I don't like gay dudes liking my stuff in the middle of the night. I Listen, it wasn't that late when I liked that picture last night, Nick. Please. You know? <laughs> Dress to Kill was great. Oh, fuck. Love that fucking room service. Great fucking album. Gene Simmons was a greedy Jew, though. Still is. Him and Paul Stanley. That's why they're loaded. How many asses had Gene Simmons stuck his tongue in, Joe? He's been with... The uh, Sharon Tweed for a long time, but you know he fucking had a good time around that. Nick, now I want to creep you, but you're private. Nick, you got to open up your privacy for vape. <sighs> Vape's hot. She said sexy, sexy, sexy things. If your account is private, why go follow the people who can't see your account? <clears throat> I get that too, though. I get a lot of people that follow this account, and they're private so i don't i don't really know them i follow a lot of the accounts live two is my first kiss album still have a copy with the book tattoos and oh, wow all the inserts and whatnot excellent man i sold a lot of my albums years ago they want to creep you so then you should private or block me i'm always creeping your account <laughs> um i had which was it it was kiss the original Kiss, we called it Kiss Kiss when we were kids. It's the self-titled first album from 73. I had a red vinyl version, and I, it was used, obviously. I sold it on eBay. I think I got like 60 bucks for it. If I know any of you guys by name, you can follow me. I just don't accept random people. It could be Haji bots. Yes, I get, you know what I'm getting a ton of followers by? Hair extension pages. I have a feeling it's, it's obviously a fake account from, like, Pakistan and shit. But it's all these pictures of, like, girls' hair extensions for women. I follow people when I want to see what they post. If they want to see my stuff, they need to follow me. I follow you. Did Crystal Wildfire accept Big Rob Fitness Pet Bounce Challenge? Crystal Wildfire is afraid of Big Rob's challenge, right? Crystal Wildfire, Anthony. <laughs> I like the, you look like Jim McMahon wearing Mickey Mouse he is in that picture. Audie, you like vape? <clears throat> she can probably get some fucking, uh, some fucking vape in your flavor. I just block my story from weird looking accounts so they can't see me live. <clears throat> look at it, she's tonguing 
and winking at Audie. Ooh, she likes chocolate. <laughs> I get followers from random titty pages. Oh, poor thing, Kenny. I'm not sure I can compete. Yes, Big Rob. Actually, not a bad pet bounce he had on that video today. I hope he goes live with you soon. Humanity is spreading worldwide. Yes, somebody's sending me uh, DMs telling me that I, I'm not a real man if I don't interview that black kid that Big Rob had with the sign and stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> what is he going to bring to the fucking table? I mean, it probably would be funny. I mean, I, I, I probably should do it just for goofs. But I do follow Crystal. I love to actually follow Crystal and watch her ass. Yes, I've done that at Expos, Alec. So you have to meet us at the LA Fit Expo so you can walk behind us and look at Crystal's beautiful buttocks. She put the MSM sticker on her ass. I have to post that video. I have a video of it. I probably have like eight different requested direct messages from fake profiles that want to have sex. Only six of them are mine, Nick. <laughs> that kid is boring, no offense. I only saw the one video with him with Rob. Joe, I get those bum ass hair. Okay, good. So it's... It, it's got to just be like a big troll thing where they, I don't know what they gain out of it by following accounts. They try to give your phone a virus if you click on the link. Oh, okay. See, I never click on the link. That was funny. It was. I got the video of it. I got to put it, I keep forgetting to put it up. Z, 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 C, Z, Z, C. What's up, Z, C? Jerry Ward's biggest fan over there, Z, C. I get hair extensions too, but I have extensions, so I just figured it's my search shit. Yeah, see, but I don't search hair extensions too, but you, I, you get that all the time. You could be talking, like I'd be, I'll talk to my wife and talk about, oh, I can't wait to go to that fucking, you know, that, that vacation place. Uh, we'll go to Aruba again one day. Ten minutes later on my Facebook page, what the fuck is on there? Sponsored posts, uh, vacation in Aruba. And I didn't put it in no search engine. So they're watching and listening. <laughs> I hope they listen to this. Maybe Joe should get hair extensions. You're right. I should click on those things. Your phone is listening. I know it is vape. So if your phone was listening to me talk about you, it would hear all about cunnilingus. <laughs> What's up with the white people in Halloween? What about it, Artie? JJ Twat. There he is. There's Reagan again. <laughs> Audie, when I worked in the ghetto, you know, that was one of the biggest days for armed robberies. The fucking hoods, the fucking homies would, you know, they would make believe they were trick-or-treating with, like, Wolfman masks on, and they'd go and do fucking armed robberies in the bodegas. They would enjoy listening to that. So would I. <laughs> it's total bullshit, Alex said. Johnny Juice, what's up, Johnny? Anyone needs CBD and Omega-3 supplements? Is that... that cannabis stuff. I don't want to cannabis this program. What's up, John Berserk? All these ghost shows I watch, I've never seen a black guy there because they don't know one black dude. Though. There was a show. What the fuck was the name of it? My wife watched it. Homeboy Ghost? Or so I, Audie, I swear to God. It was like four black guys that did those ghost adventures. I, they're all white, but that's, this one show had the black guys. Ghost Brothers or something. CBD oils, creams, message me. See, if you just put oils and creams, message me, I'd fucking get a little erection. But I don't want to talk about pot. I'd rather talk about puss. Johnny Juice, how you been is a better question. I've been fine, thank you for asking. Homeboy, it, Nick, it was something like that. I, I, I'm not, this is serious Joey for once. It uh, was well, Ghost Brothers or something. It's, it would, Audie, it was like a do a goofy name like that. It was on for about six months and then they came off. You missed my live last night. You're dead. How could you? <laughs> There's no THC in CBD. So then what is it? Marijuana is legal here next week, Joe. I'm always trying to make a buck. Uh, listen, you do what you got to do. Looking like that, you can make a lot more money than selling marijuana. Just show your little fucking little goods off. Cindy, Diane, Camp. Maybe, is it Campos? Vape lady, do you need any CBD capsules? Well, now I know you're not lying because they love to cancel black dude show. <laughs> you know, I used to tell my wife, get this off, I don't want to watch it. 
I just get sick of all those ghost shows, and that it really was a bad one. It was it was fucking really. They were so. I mean, they they're bad actors on those fake reality shows, but that they were these dudes were really bad. I the hillbilly ones are funny because you can't understand what the fuck they're saying anyway. Didn't they cancel Cosby? Man, they could they would lynch him if they fucking could. They want him so bad off of that. Oh, the Connors is starting now. That's the new Roseanne without Roseanne. <laughs> I give it three weeks. Look at this. I got a love connection going on. Johnny Juice and Vape are going to fucking hook up with CBD oil in between their bodies. Yeah, babe, lady, I'm going to need a direct message also. There you go, Artie. Don't let Johnny Juice there. You were there first, man. <laughs> Plant your flag in that fucking moon. <laughs> You're not the king of the remote. Kenny, how long are you married? Probably a long time like me. You know how it works. You let them watch the dopey TV shows. Because who the fuck... Unless it's like a good ball game on, that's different. Um, but I, I could watch my... TV shows when she falls asleep. She usually falls asleep much earlier than I do. Let her watch her stupid shows. When I get in that fucking bed and I ask for a fucking hand job, I don't want to hear the word no. Joe's the shit you say it kills me. See, I, that's why I love you, Vape. And I love all the ladies that are part of the MSM family. You understand humor. You don't get like, oh my God, that was offensive. Imagine like some fucking millennial tuned in for the first time. Holy fuck. Uh, CC looked terrible the other night. Who, CC DeVille from, from Poison? <laughs> Phone call now so I can't hear you. I'll be back. <laughs> we need to bring Artie's cock to the LA Fit Expo and hang a Muscle Sport Mag banner off of it. Bro, we could fucking get one of those flags that covers fucking end zone to end zone and Artie's cock will still have room for another one. I'm a millennial, don't be talking smack. Well, you're different, though. CC Sabathia. Oh, I thought you meant CC DeVille. Not really, no. I mean, they just, they got some nice place timely hits against them. He wasn't getting fucking pounded. You know what I mean? That that double down the left field line was just a good fucking shot, man. Real question. You ever feel when they get a 10 stretch for a pissant change? Chug, wait, I'm losing you, Berserk. You ever feel when they get a 10 stretch for a pissant charge? Be honest. I don't know what you mean, bro. Let's go live. You want to have sex live like they used to do on the old Times Square? Live sex upstairs, fellas. Live sex. Johnny Juice, you're a millennial? Wow. <clears throat> See, but you guys are cool millennials. You're part of the family. Like, I mean like one of those cunts that was scratching at the Supreme Court door. One of those little fucking pieces of shit like in Portland. Why don't that happen in my fucking old neighborhood <laughs> with those fucking Antifa guys in Portland? You know what the fucking guineas would have done to them? <laughs> oh, no. Obama phone. Nick, you ready? Artie wants to go live. I would not watch Audie on live sex. Oh, I would for the goof. You wouldn't see his face. His dick would be three states away. Audie again with this fucking Obama phone. Holy shit. <clears throat> Can anybody see Audie? And that's not a joke because all I see is a black screen. <laughs> I hear a little grumbling. P. Kenny, can you see arthritis, Artie? Alex says no. Kim Haynes, fit. Oh, you changed it. <laughs> fit ass. Artie, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. Every time we try to get you on live, I know my, my shit's been messed up audio. You could see him. <laughs> don't shoot till you see the whites of his eyes. King of the gym to the how. He's camouflage. Yes. He didn't pay the light bill. But Artie, I don't know what it is with your phone. I don't see he's got that is that it almost looks like a like a, a fucking Pac-Man face. Oh Kim, I love you. Yeah, she did change it. I was waiting for Alec. Didn't Alec make that suggestion a day or two ago? It was a very good one. I was able to see my face. I was talking to you. Artie, I swear to God, it was complete black. No joke. 
it was like it was if half the screen was cut off and it was just a black square, and I could hear like a little muffling noise. I couldn't hear you talking though. But I have been having audio problems with the guests, so I don't know if the audio was there. Berserk wants to get on board. John Berserk Ramsey. <clears throat> Kim, you're awesome. Agreed. <clears throat> hey, John Berserk. How's it going? What's going on? Hey, wait. You're the ironic one? It's not me. That's not you? Okay, because you look a lot like him. Well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate for you. Ah. <laughs> See, I can hear you, but it's very low. So I'm hoping my update fixes this when I update after the show. So what's up, brother? Uh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. How did you come up with that fucking name and, and photo? Because it is hysterical. You did. Some guy, had, some guy had the picture like this. And I thought, that is fucked up. And then his name, I think it was um, John Bernay Ramsey. I just thought, what's more fucked up than that? John Berserk Ramsey. Yes, definitely um, very creative. Uh, kind of creepy in a way. The picture with the smile, definitely, I, I must admit, it does creep me out, but I'm a disgusting piece of shit, so I gotta laugh at things like that. Yeah. Now, I was gonna ask you, Joe, as a cop, just some questions. Go ahead, ask, go ahead. Uh, thing is, when you do these lives, you're very smooth. Okay. Oh, thank you, sir. I mean, I mean, in the streets and also in the office. Um, I did have a good gift of gab. I'm not patting myself on the back, but it got me through a lot of things where I probably would have fucked up if I didn't bullshit my way through things. To the criminals and the bosses alike, I mean. Not just to the bad guys. <laughs> Sometimes that's true, yes. Or at least you have to know what's going on. You have to think like the bad guy sometimes. But act like the good guy. That's, uh, yeah, it's a fucked up thing. Yes, <laughs> yes I, did, I did enjoy interrogations. I was very good at that. I, I, I have to say that because of my <laughs> bullshitting and my, my able to... to uh, Bond with people on a very quick basis, sometimes within minutes, depending on the situation. I was very good at doing that sometimes. So I, I was able to get some confessions where other people failed. That's, that's the worst and the best. Well, it's part of the job, you know? It is, yeah. Trust me, beating a confession out of somebody doesn't work coaxing them and becoming their friend for the day is a much a much better fucking strategy yeah no I, I understand what you're saying it's just that I was more the, the psychology of, of you Joe that's all just that I'm just trying to pick you apart over the screen that's all thank you I, 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 I I'm very I'm honored that you see you mentioned something in the comments on the show a day or two ago, and now you're saying it, so I thank you for both, because I take that as a very, very good compliment. Appreciate it, dude. Well, look, um, look I, I'm going to go now, but I've, look, I've always been the guy, I've, I was, um, whoever that guy was, I'm everyone, I'm, I was um, Big Brett Wolf. I've been Mr. Goldfinger. Yes. Me. Savage Jono, that's me. Uh, oh, gee. <laughs> so you're legendary, all of these accounts. We, we are many, we have many names. A fucking man of a thousand faces you are. Excellent. Well, they're all great, all great and creative, but I think this Berserk Ramsey, I think you've even outdone yourself with it. Well, I say, well anything is, it's just, a, it's just a goof, it's just a fun, 
Of course, you gotta take it with a fucking grain of salt. It's a laugh. And if people don't like it, fuck them. The only one thing that's grouped them all together is, is you, Jeff. Yes. <laughs> to be honest, you know, you're a fucked up guy, and so am I. I'll give you. <laughs> we are fucked up, yes. Thanks so much, man. Keep watching and keep making the funny accounts, man. I love them. See you later, bro. Yes, I'll see you, I'm sure, very soon. Completely different name. Thanks, brother. Later. There he is. Hugo, man of a thousand faces. That used to be an old... Uh, it was a toy in the 70s, actually. Uh, you used to have this head, and you could change the eyes, the nose, the ears, and it was called Hugo, Man of a Thousand Faces. Well, that is John Berserk Ramsey, Man of a Thousand Instagram account names. You thought Nick was making one. Well, he's messed up, fuck. Yes, but oh, he's a funny. Okay, I was going to say, when you're doing shit like that, you're obviously doing it to get people to go, holy fuck, this guy's out of his mind. And if once you read into it and you see his posts, it's a joke. Laugh at it. I'm not saying what happened to John Bonet Ramsey was funny. I'm saying the account's funny. <laughs> People got to get a fucking sense of humor and stop being so serious about fucking stupid shit. You know, I mean, damn. If you can't make a fucking Holocaust joke, then you got no fucking sense of humor. Joe understands the <laughs> Oh, are you talking smack, Artie? Artie never talks smack. Artie's a respectable young man. You work the jail. You do. You ever seen any good sex? <laughs> I give you credit, Matt. You see, I don't have a problem working the street and putting them in that fucking hall. I just don't want to... I hated going to the fucking hall when we used to have to fucking lodge. Oh, I hated it. On the gate! On the gate! Oh, I fucking hated that fucking shit. Rich Pinna joined. What's up, Rich? <laughs> See, more fucking funny stuff. Is it true to be a good cop? You have to be somewhat of a good criminal also. Listen, everything is personal. I got uh, a sworn in when I was 20, so I didn't have a lot of time to do bad things. Even if I wanted to be a bad guy, I was 20. You know, so how bad could I have fucking been? I'm a cage kicker. I was a fucking head kicker. <laughs> I used to kick 55-yard field goals. Sometimes the teeth would take the place of the hold his fingernails. <laughs> Audie, it's true. Just asking about his friends with Yusef Hawkins. Oh, Nick. Oh, my God. <laughs> August 23rd, 1989. Yes, very infamous. Yusef Hawkins was the, the kid, he was 16, he got killed in, in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn in 1989, he was shot, and the, uh, the, the, the kid who was like 18 who shot him is still in jail for it, and should be, I mean, come on, he's fucking murdered somebody. How far did you go for a story, Joe? What do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean, Ken. Look it up, arthritis one. I had to walk the murderers to court today. Who are some of the murderers? Now, you live in Michigan also. We got a lot of Michigan guys out here. Joe, that's crazy. How could you? Could I what? Kick 55-yard field goals? <laughs> oh, it's strictly rumor, Audie. There is no photographic evidence. Sex or money? Um, if you like prostitutes, you take the money and you get sex anyway. <laughs> If you zoom down to $10 a blowjob, you get to keep the rest. You come and you have money for pizza. <laughs> what did you think about the Fairbanks Four who were wrongly convicted and spent most of their lives in prison? Now, were those the ones, the fucking, the goth kids with the little kids that were found in the lake with the bikes and stuff? Is that the one you're talking about? Because I did do some reading and I did do some watching on that. And I'm not totally sure if I'm thinking of the same one the, that those kids were totally innocent. I work in Flint. Oh, so yeah, man. So you're, you're sure you got your fair share of uh, the Flint, Michigan tropics. 
from uh, Semi Pro, a great movie about the ABA. Thoughts on Game 6 of the 2001 Western Conference Finals. Now, was that the Kings and the Lakers? Mike? Uh, Mike. I'm looking at Mike right after you. Nick. I think that was West Memphis. Yes, the West Memphis Three. So who is this? Uh, who is that other thing? The West Memphis Three. I'm not sure if they were totally innocent. Yes. Okay, so that was... Um, was that the Derek Fisher buzzer beater? And he did the... Like... What did you expect? Of course I'm going to hit it. Yeah, that, and, and I know you had said once before that the league, uh, they blew the whistle on the Kings and they ate it for the Lakers because they wanted the, nobody wanted to see the Kings in the finals. They said they killed the team, but now they've shown that he was killed by another team. Now listen, if somebody's legitimately wrongly convicted, they shouldn't be in jail. I mean, listen, I, you know, I, 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 anything else would be, I would be a fucking retard for saying but sometimes when it's debatable, you're going to get people that say, I think he's innocent or she, and I think he or she is guilty. Joe, could you ever do a day in the life vlog for the family? Like my day in the life? I wouldn't do it at home because my, my family doesn't want to get involved in this, but I do it over here. <laughs> I do it home pretty much anyway. Tim Donahue is basically a fixed game. Do you know that I spoke to Tim Donahue? <laughs> couple of years after he got fired, I was going to fucking have him on as a guest on me and Greg's show podcast. <laughs> they are guilty as hell, the West Memphis Three. You see, I thought that, I even think the fucking retarded kid did stuff, but he was just stupid and he, con he blabbed a lot about it to the cops when they kind of tricked him because they knew he was a fucking retard. The greatest tragedy in sports. Where's the real Chris Barr? I thought he worked for you. He was on here most of the show. Timmy Montana. Are you like the uh, Irish Cuban? <laughs> Does your son troll you? No, he wants nothing to do with anything that I do. Unless it's my wallet and credit card. Um, he knows basketball in and out. I ask him to do a phoner. I say, if you don't want to be on video, can you do a phoner with me, uh, do an NBA weekly show? No. I would never do any of that stupid shit with you. Does arthritis, I already have arthritis. Ask him. Artie, do you have arthritis? Have a great weekend, Joe. What are you fucking kicking me out of the party before it ends, Nick? <laughs> You're flashing the lights in the disco? <laughs> Do they still do that, people that stay out till 4 a.m. in New York? They do the lights when they're giving you, like, the last call hint. It's a street thing that I'm known for. Oh, okay, so you really don't, because you're a young dude. When you kill somebody, they get all stiff, like, they got to try it a couple of hours. Yeah. Ooh, I know you said that you used to be a fucking bad dude, but that you straightened your shit out. So I'm glad to hear that you straightened your shit out. You got a body under your belt, bro? I wouldn't fuck with you. You're 6'5", and you have a notch in your belt. Ooh, ooh, wee. 140 remaining. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Crystal Wildfire Anthony, I'm not sure if it's 5 or 6. Check it out. Look for her later. 5 or 6 today at crystal.wildfire.anthony. You motherfuckers have a great... We spent five years in the feds. Ooh, that's a bid and a half, my friend. That's a real bid doing fed time. Rusty Volkswagen, what's up, bro? We are going to fucking see you guys on Monday for 5 p.m. Yes, thank you, Crystal. 5 p.m. Watch it tonight and masturbate while you do so. We will see you guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Crystal Show tonight, and I'll see you back here on Monday for Hot Stuff Presents Muscle Sport Radio. Green background for the vegans, yes. Not for the potheads. Denise, we're ending the show. We're going to get cut off. I'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend, folks.